In this video, we will solve a problem on how to find the marginal rate of technical substitution from a given production ISO count. The question is, the equation for production ISO count is being given as 25k to the power 3 upon 5, L to the power 2 upon 5 is equal to 5400. This is our production ISO count. We have to find out the marginal rate of technical substitution. Also, we have to evaluate it at when capital is equal to 243 and labor is equal to 1. 81 okay so we are being given the production iso count and we need to find out the marginal rate of technical substitution okay the definition of uh, the marginal rate of technical substitution is pretty simple uh, mrts shows the rate at which we can substitute okay one input say labor for another input say capital so that the output remains constant okay so simple thing is if we have let us say we have labor on this side capital on this side okay let us say this is our production iso count okay then uh, mrts shows us how much you know simply how much or the rate at which we can substitute one you know input let us say labor for capital so that we are on the same production iso count okay that is actually del k upon del l okay how much you know labor we need to substitute for capital so that we are on the same iso count pretty simple now how do we find this uh, mrts simply what will we do here we will treat uh, this k as a function of l and we have to use the product rule here okay to find dk upon dl that means uh, actually mrts let me write it here mrts means to find the dk upon dl that means change in capital with respect to labor we need to find out this kind of rate okay so here we have to apply oh, first let me write it again here okay so we have 25 25 k to the power uh, 3 upon 5 uh, l to the power 2 upon 5 is equal to 5400 okay now to find uh, the mrts what we need to do we just treat this k as a function of l and we have to use the product rule here to find our dk upon dl okay which will be our mrts here so our mrts is dk upon dl so we will apply the product rule here okay so first we have 25 let me write it here 25 k to the power uh, 3 upon 5 okay now taking derivative of this function that is l to the power 3 of 2 upon 5 so 2 upon 5 will become the coefficient okay l and this exponent will be subtracted by 1 so this will become uh, 2 upon 5 minus 1 will become minus 3 upon 5 okay how do we use uh, apply product rule we write the first function and take derivative of second uh, function plus we write the second function again which is l to the power 2 upon 5 okay and take derivative of first function so first function is 25 k to the power 3 upon 5 so its derivative is simply 25 uh, derivative uh, derivative of k to the power 3 upon 5 is this 3 upon 5 will become you know the coefficient we have k to the power 3 upon 5 minus 1 comes out to be minus 2 upon 5 okay then we have to take the derivative with respect to dk upon dl also okay and we set it equal to 0 okay simple thing what i had done here i just uh, treated k as a function of l and we use the product rule to find this dk upon dl okay now if we uh, solve it again so uh, obviously the derivative of a constant is zero that's why i, I write it here okay that means uh, we have 5 ones are 5 5 are 25 so 5 2 are 10 i will get here 10 okay 3 upon 5 sorry 10 uh, k to the power 3 upon 5 l to the power minus 3 upon 5 uh, 
uh, plus we have here 5 ones are 5 5 are 25 5 threes are 15 so we have 15 uh, l to the power 2 upon 5 k to the power minus 2 upon 5 dk upon dl okay dk upon dl because k is a function of a uh, labor that's why we have to take this derivative also here and we set it equal to zero okay now we need to solve it for dk upon dl okay so dk upon dl will be so let me you know save the space here our dk upon dl will be equal to okay so this is the term if i transpose it here it will become minus 10 k to the power 3 upon 5 l to the power minus 3 upon 5 okay and we divide this term okay i hope you know how to do it uh, 2 upon 5 k to the power minus 2 upon 5 okay that means now we can do one thing here we have l to the power 2 upon 5 l to the power minus 3 upon 5 transpose this l here and this k to the numerator so we will get minus 10 upon 15 when i transpose this term to numerator it will get multiplied bases are same so it will add up to 1 so we will get k upon l is equal to 0 so this is 5 2s are which implies 5 2s are 10 5 3s are 15 k upon l okay is equal to 0 which gives us dk upon dl is equal to so we have 2 upon 3 here so we will get minus 2 k upon 3l this is our mrts this is our mrts now we need to evaluate it at when k is equal to uh, 243 and l is equal to 181 okay so our mrts will become mrts will be equal to uh, dk upon dl which will be equal to so since our, this is our mrts just plug the value of k is 243 243 and the value of l is being given as 181 solve it it will come out to be minus 0 0.89 okay now how do we interpret this mrts it simply tells us that if uh, if labor is increased by let us say one unit okay our capital must decrease by 0 0.89 unit so that we are on same isocond okay so it simply shows the rate at which one factor must decrease so that the same level of productivity can be maintained okay when other factor is increased i hope i make myself clear thank you